10 on your side is your local election headquarters. One of the hottest races in the country heated up a little bit more today. And you saw the first debate in the second district congressional race. It'll play out on wavy.com from the Virginia Beach Oceanfront. Democrat Elaine Lurie is trying to hang on to that coveted seat. Republican Jen Kiggins would like to take Lurie's place. Our Andy Fox was there for the debate and for plenty of tension in the room. Andy? feel it and that is an understatement these are two really strong candidates each representing her party it's coming down to the wire and this debate today gave you a feeling on how important this race is to determine the balance of power in washington in this race there are two major issues the economy and the issue of a woman's right to have an abortion each candidate has called the other extreme on that issue she said this in her first debate when she ran for the state senate her reason for running was to protect the sanctity of life her number one reason during the debate luria pointed out she thinks kiggins wants government out of your life except for the issue of abortion she clearly wants to tell you how to live your life if you're a woman who's dying because of a complicated pregnancy. She certainly wants to tell you that if you're a 10 year old who's a rape or incest victim and can't get an abortion here in Virginia. On many occasions, both candidates accuse the other of lying. I am not appreciative of my opponent who lies about me. I have always been a person who supported abortion in cases of rape, incest, and the life of the mother. In her closing argument, Elaine Luria became the most impassioned about who should vote for her and who should not. And I'll tell you, there's certain cases where I'm not your candidate. I am not your candidate if you think the election was stolen. After the debate, Kiggins was asked about the 2020 election. Do you believe that <laughs> President Biden was barely elected? A lot of extreme words that have been used in this campaign. Again, I think that's what's wrong with politics. We talked about that in the beginning and the division and the negative rhetoric. And that's why I ran for office. I hate that stuff. Yeah, but did Joe Biden fairly, fairly win the election? What do you think about her? She was asked again, did Joe Biden fairly win the election, Senator? You haven't answered the question. You have not answered the question. Was Joe Biden fairly elected? We're done. We're done. We're done. We have two hour debate. We're done, we're done, and then that was it. The Hampton Roach Chamber states it means business. Well, this debate was all business, a full hour and a half, lots of issues, lots of important information to help determine who wins on November 8th. And remember, early voting going on right now through November 5th. In the newsroom, Andy Fox, 10 on your side. All right, thank you, Andy. And a reminder, you can see candidate profiles and get information on where and when to vote anytime on the politics page of wavy.com.